the climate impacts them in a bad way because it causes lack of food, sometimes famine, lack of water, and even the, the climate change is cause some problems, some land degradation. So they, they don't have enough land to cultivate in some areas in Darfur because the land gets bad. In the latest 17s up to, up to early 18s, there is a drought in the northern part of the North Darfur. So the people moved from that area to the, to the, to the southern part of uh, North Darfur. They stay there up to 10 years. So after that time, there's a conflict happened between the newcomers and the people already existing over the power and over the land. Again, when the war is started in Darfur in 2003, the same scenic group which migrated from the north to the south, they occupy that land because they have army, because they are most of them from the, belong to the level group. So they're saying we regulated this area and this area is our mine. Again, the conflict started between the existing community and the newcomers. Many people have been died, but the existing community have been able to, to, move, to, to chase them out of their, their, uh, their land. So the initial cause was the drought behind that. So it is really related to climate change. So we need something like coordination bodies to work together. To, to, to discuss the issue of the climate change, not individually, to discuss as a as, 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 as group, to find out the solutions. But the most important thing is that if you want to solve this kind of problem, we should start from the bottom up. Because the community who are affected by the climate change and they know their, their problems and even they can know the, the, the solutions. So the taking the bottom up approach it is the best way to address the, the, the climate impact.